Okay, good afternoon folks. So this video is going to be about setting up probably one of the cheapest and easiest solar panel kits for charging a battery. Now this battery is, I think, almost not dead, but it should have a little, not, it's a green um, um, reflector in here and it's not, so it needs charging. That's telling me the battery's nearly dead. So what we're going to need is, we've got the one battery of course, we've got two crocodile clips connected to a cable which is brown and blue which will be positive and negative. And so it doesn't matter what colour you use as long as you know which is which. So red to brown, black to positive. Uh, sorry, red to brown which is positive and then black is now negative which is the blue. Then we're going to need a couple of cables that connect with the is the 45s, A45s, or RJ45s, are they? I'm not too sure. I'll double check that to go through to the solar panel. I'll get all this and I'll show you everything. So the solar panel and then to the charge control unit. The way you do it is you connect your crocodile clips to the battery and then the battery to the charge control unit. And then, only then, you connect your cables to that solar panel and the solar panel to your charge control unit okay so price wise 47 pound i think it's a hundred so about a hundred water probably 130 i'll double check it hold on it might be on there let's have a look no, 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 no. no it's not telling me there I'll, I'll double check and get back to you so you've got that one we should have then a 30 amp solar charge controller so oh, there we go. So, oh, it's 100 amp, 12, 24, 36, and 48 volts, and it's all auto. So that's what we're going to connect it to. Oh, let me just show you that as well. So your connection is solar panel to these. You can see that solar panel positive, negative, battery positive, negative, and then a power source. So you connect it to some USBs or a light or whatever, as long as it's only 12 volt, and we've got two USBs there as well. And that's your connectors down below. But we'll do all this step by step and going about so yeah the cables and then your crocodile clips and the battery right so let's get started two seconds okay here we go put him to one side right so first of all we're going to connect the terminals these two from the battery so you look here and there's your solar battery you can't go wrong undo them and they should just you can see it dropping down that one there drop down and then this one drops down drops down so you've got positive and negative so what we're going to do now i know these have got terminals on but they do fit i used it for another another job i was doing but they will fit quite nicely so we're going to go positive first I'm going to put him in there. Hold on, we have to hold this and then screw it at the same time. Two seconds. See if I can get this mounted properly. In a little bit. I might even use that to support the phone. There we go. Brown, positive, put him in. one and then the negative goes in as well there we go okay so for test purposes we go to the battery now and we've got negative which is the blue one and then positive is the red and we should have some light life on the controller and there we go so it is down it's down to 11 so this is dope so we're looking at it'll come back in a second here we go 11.6 volts now it's not connected to anything yet this is just what it's reading from the battery okay so that's that, but we'll disconnect it for now, and then we're going to wire up the solar. 
Okay, so these ends have already been stripped back. So now we're going to go to the solar panel, which is the same principle, positive and negative. I thought it'd be quick if I just did it, and then let me show you. Okay, I screw them down nice and tight because we need a good connection. Okay, so it looks like yeah, positive, negative, positive, negative from the solar, and then you got positive and negative from the battery. All right, and then that goes to the battery. This is how simple this is. Okay, so that's done this side. So now we've got to get the solar panel out, and hopefully we should get some action. This is how easy it is. Honestly, it's brilliant. Okay, so here's the solar panel. We're going to put him on the floor for a second. And hopefully, get him out. Oop. I'm going to have to use two hands. Sorry, folks. So, as you can see, they come pre wired. We'll just take the polythene off. So, we're going to plug these in now, and then we should have some power then going to the battery. So this is definitely a 100 watt bio energy. Right, so we're gonna leave those two with the clips on, doesn't matter. Now we're gonna plug the battery in first before we plug the solar panel in, because we need the control unit to control the voltage coming from here without damaging anything. So uh, these cables, you can buy them pre-done. This is a 10 meter cable that's going to the control unit and the charge control unit should i say so we've got a male and a female so you can see up the male and the female is this one which is positive and you can't go wrong positive positive it'll only accept the female onto the male uh, so we'll plug them in now plugging them in straight forward they just clip in they can't go on to get them back out again you push these two together here and then the clip will come out okay battery's connected Let's flip the panel over and let's see if we've got any action. We're under a tree a little bit, but we'll see. See if we can get a bit of power. Right, let's have a look around here. It's going to be easy if I move it around. Seems to be creeping up from the solar panel. 0.6 amps. And we've got a menu here. That's power. So that little one there says power. 11.8 volts. So we know we've got power coming in. And we're up to 0.8 amps. 9 amps. That's not bad, considering the sun is quite hazy. I might bring it over here a little bit. One point one. One point two amps coming in. Eleven point nine volts, so it's going up. So the battery is now being charged, and it's not that bright of a day. So, but it's all right. One point three amps. Yeah, oh yeah, look, 12.1 now. Battery's charging up beautifully. That's how simple this is. It is so simple. So, one, what, 47 pounds. Battery, I think, was 30 quid. Charge control, it was 20 quid. The most, one of the dearest, it was not dearest, but one of the things is getting these cables. So, but you can buy these pre done off eBay. If I can put a link in the description down below for the solar panel and the charge control unit and the cables. But we'll come back in a bit before we end the video and just see how we're getting on in the voltage range. 12.2 look. So we've got the solar panel. I haven't come back to it yet. We'll check in a second. You've got your solar panel. You've got your charge control unit, which is this here. And you've got your solar panel and you've got your battery. Now, I've got terminals in my van, which um, they don't use crocodile clips. It's the terminal that fits on these. If I can find them, I'll put a link in the description below as well. And uh, yeah, sorry, my lad just turned up. So I've got special clips that go onto the uh, battery here, which they cramp on and they've got um, like Allen key bolts in them. And then you can add any devices. You always go from your battery for like LED lights in your van or pumps fans anything you want to use you you go to the battery you can have two batteries and put them in series but you only use one battery to take everything from okay 
uh, and it works brilliantly. I mind it's been in the van now five years, not a problem. So as regards the solar panel, we put it in daylight, bit, 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 better daylight. We've got 13.1, look at that, 13.1 volts, 5.1 amps coming in. No, five, whatever that is. I don't know, I don't, I've not read the instructions on this properly, so I do apologize for that, but hey, whatever. I don't care as long as it's charging my battery, and it is beautifully. 13.1, look at that, and it was what, 11 point or 10 point something? It was 10 point something, wasn't it? Anyway, so yeah, that's it, conclusion, we're done. This is working perfectly. I'll leave it now for a couple of hours, charge my battery up. Like I said, it's one of the most simplest uh, designs you can get. It's very simple, solar panel, battery charge control unit, done. I have got a switch box in the garage if I need to, I, if I want to, I've already got one in my van, but if I wanted to, I could put a switch box anywhere, like here. Actually, I'll so go and get it. Down to 12.5 only because there's a big cloud, you can't see that now. I'm going to get blinded. So the sun's come back out again now, and we're now up to 12.8. We did go to 13.1 coming in, which is absolutely brilliant. If you enjoyed the video on this very, very simple setup of a uh, solar panel control unit and battery, Please, if you want to like and subscribe, that would be great. If you don't wish to, that's fine as well. Take care, and we'll definitely, definitely catch you in the next one. Here, 12.9. We have been to 13.1. There we go, 13.1. Did you see it? Yes, you did. Okay, sorry, Bye. folks, I forgot to mention the control box. Right, so this is what it looks like. I'll put a link in the description down below. You don't get the control box, you just get this panel. Okay, the control box, if I can find that, I'll put that in the link in the description below, and you have to cut it out yourself, okay? Um, <clears throat> so let me just flip it over and I'll show you. So each switch that you, you use comes pre-fused. So whatever you want to use it for, okay, it's just a single rocker switch. You'd connect that to either lights, battery pump, fan, whatever you want. You've got a voltage meter here. See that one? You've got USBs and you've got a cigarette lighter. So let's flip them over. So it's so easy to wire up. So what I would use, I would use a bus bar. All right, and I would connect this to either on here, somewhere like that, do that. And then what you do then, you would take all your negatives, all your lives, but mainly negatives. I did the negatives. So all these black wires, okay, this black wire would go, well, not all the black wires, the black wire, this one, to here. And then you'd take a negative wire from the battery to here. This means then this becomes all... All this then becomes negative, okay? So this is your negative bus bar. All these are lived and fused. So these would go to your fans, lights, pumps, whatever you want, each one, and you put a little label on them. It comes with labels as well. So they'd all be fused, and and then your live would be... Let me show you this one here. So your live coming in would be... I think it is... This one here, that's your live. So you'd connect the positive of the battery to this, and then all these, that's correct, so all these then, you can see them in a loop, 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 and then loop, loop, and loop. They all become live because you're getting a live from the battery. And then this negative one as well, you would connect to the negative bar. Okay, so that to the negative bar, this would go to the live on the battery, so you'd come straight to that one live, and then the negative from the battery would go to here. So negative, negative, negative from the battery to here, live, straight from there, straight to here, probably with a fuse. If it was me, I'd put a fuse on it, and then all these become live. It makes life easier. Simple as that. So these are relatively cheap. I think they're about the switch itself, the switch box is about, not box, the switch unit itself is about 19 quid and the box is about, I think it's about 10, 12 quid maximum. But you have to cut it out yourself. Pretty straightforward. Right, sorry about that, I forgot to put that in, so I've just put that in now. Take care and we'll definitely, definitely now catch you in the next one.